So last week, Jake previewed the thriller Ambulance that's hitting theaters, but what does it take to actually work in that high-stress environment? Jake, you went for it yourself, right? Yeah, and I learned very quickly that I absolutely do not have what it takes, but the new Michael Bay thriller Ambulance it inspired us to learn more about these intense and high-stress worlds, this profession, so we took to the streets with the real deal. Whenever I get back to Chicago, in addition, obviously, to doing these interviews, I'm actually going to do a ride along with an ambulance. I'm going to get in the back, and they're going to kind of they're going to put me through the whole thing oh, to kind of wow. get the experience of what you had. You have to be pretty calm under pressure, not easily grossed out by things. The thing that you have to have most is patience. Ambulance may be rolling onto the big screen around the country, but around the streets of Chicago, real emergencies aren't scripted. They aren't active and there is no take two. Medex is a private ambulance service with a fleet of more than 90 vehicles operating throughout the streets of Chicago. A hospital with horsepower, these rolling rescuers offer all levels of ambulance services for hundreds of healthcare facilities throughout the area. All right, I want you to imagine that you just got a call. Take me through this moment. Most people never want to be in something like this, but for people who do, they're kind of curious. This is basically a hospital on wheels. Yeah. And they're manned by trained healthcare professionals who understand pressure more than most of us ever will. Frederick Jackson and Sarah Lopez are EMTB partners manning the MedEx ambulances. And for Jackson, who possesses an encyclopedic knowledge of the stockpiles of medical supplies and equipment in the back, it's all about the people. How do you account for a person's life being right there? And you're kind of you're you're the X factor. Um, the way I like to think about it, honestly, is if. It was one of my loved ones. You know, um, I take it. I take it serious to the point where, if this was my mother, my father, my brother, or sister, you know, how would you t how would you treat them? How would you take care of them? You would do whatever you have to do to make sure that they're okay until you get them to the receiving hospital. And the person responsible for getting you there, just on the other side of this sliding glass, is Sarah Lopez. I have to worry about my partner and the patient in the back, so I can't drive like a crazy person. Um, usually my partner's not seatbelted back there, so I gotta be careful with turns and stuff. I also have to be worried about everyone else that's driving. You would think people would pull over for me, they don't. Frederick and Sarah are among the 300 emergency medical technicians, paramedics, and staff on the MedEx team, the exact kind of professionals that actress Aza Gonzalez studied to play an EMT in the new thriller, Ambulance. Obviously, what they do is a real job, and they really, really train and intimately. Imagine if I could learn in three months, anyone could be a paramedic. But I have so much respect for what they do. But I will say, I had like a crash course learning. I mean, I could be in that ambulance right now and walk you through every single thing that is in there. I like. Do you want to come to my shoot on I'd Monday? I'd love to. Well, Aza wasn't quite able to make it, but I was treated to my own pair of action heroes. Because it's not actors you're calling when emergencies come knocking at your door. This is real life, and life doesn't wait for you to call action. Thank you so much to Frederick, to Sarah, and to the people of MedEx for letting us kind of crash their day and learn a lot more. Ambulance is in theaters now. Scott, back over to you. Okay, so I, I've been hurt before, and I've ridden in the back of an ambulance. Yep. Has that ever happened to you? Uh, yeah, I got in a car accident a while back. Was yeah, back of an it's it's a it's a scary thing. And, it's and, it's uh, not only scary, but it, you're, they're almost like psychologists back there talking you through everything and, and calming you down. Uh, I, I just think it's such an unsung profession. And by the way, yeah. that girl looks like she's about 16 years old. Yeah, and, but the fact that they have it all together, and I love Frederick's story about treating every person back there like it's someone from his family, and I truly believe it. Good stuff, Jake. Thanks, Appreciate buddy. it. More